Hi, my name is Julie, and I'm an evangelical Christian, and not a, a, uh, enough of us have spoken up about the cost of having supported Trump. In 2016, a lot of us decided to overlook Trump's moral flaws. We knew of Trump's earlier immorality and that he was cruel. We gave him a pass and told ourselves, well, there are biblical grounds for giving people a second chance. Now, four years later, we aren't dealing with his personal life issues. We are dealing with presidential corruption that dwarfs the crookedness of Nixon. We now know Trump is a serial liar who views our Constitution as a nuisance. There has been a steady stream of patriots speaking out. Military brass, inspector generals, Justice Department lawyers, some of Pence's own staff members, lots of former cabinet members. There were 17 impeachment witnesses and lots of highly placed intelligence officials have all spoken out to warn us, the American people. And we can now add Senator Ben Sass to the list. The conservative Senator from Nebraska just said, Trump's family has treated the presidency like a business opportunity. Trump has flirted with white supremacists. The United States now regularly sells out our allies under Trump's leadership while Trump kisses dictators' butts. By the way, Sass also said, Trump mocks the evangelicals behind closed doors. So as Christians, we don't have the leeway to look the other way when we see corruption. Looking the other way is the same as lying. For our pastors and political leaders, it is dishonest for them to pretend a wicked man is not wicked. The ninth commandment says, you shall not bear false witness. So there's a, a conservative political commentator named David French, and he points out that 25 years or so ago, evangelicals were the group that most supported the statement, character matters in government officials. But now in current polls, evangelicals are viewed as the least likely to support the statement character matters in government officials. So in front of the whole country and the world, conservative Christians have thrown our witness out the window. Hmm. You know, um, Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, it is no longer good for anything except to be tossed out. So if we conservative Christians choose to ignore corruption of a systemic nature and continue to support Trump, then we will have morally failed the Lord and our country. We will have endorsed the ways of the world for acquiring power. We will have called wrong right. It is time to clean house. It is time to correct our mistake and apologize to our country. Because of the stench rising out of the Trump administration, I will be voting for Joe Biden. Thanks for listening.